rich and friends play some games. Rich, 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 rich has some friends, 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 friends. They play some games, 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 games. Rich and friends play some games. Yeah, yeah, cheese, cheese, yeah. Cheesy, cheese, cheese. I'm a celebrity. Cheese. Hello. Hello, I'm Rich Richard Uplet. <laughs> God. Hello, I'm Richard Otlet. And I'm Rob Gale. And welcome to Playing Games with Rich and Co. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Okay, so basically the idea is that I get a friend over, we play retro games, and basically laugh at them and have funny events happen. Today we're playing such games as Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation, and also a couple of games on the N64, and also maybe a game on NES. We don't know, they're retro games, you can't ever tell. We'll make it up as we go along. It's called improvisation. Yes, we will. I'm sure I'll lose. Awesome, let's play. Oh man, I had this game. Everyone had this game. Papu, Papu. Think that, wouldn't you? Oh, this is going terrible. He's just flat. Rich, you need more practice. Play this instead of Bioshock. This isn't scary at all. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. This is like Burnout. Burnout <laughs> Hog. <laughs> it's Burnout on Hog Hog style. Burnout Hillbilly style. Oh! Whoa, come on! You hit a canoe apparently. Oh. Jump, jump. I apologise. No hogs were harmed in the making of this show. <laughs> well, only, yeah, there was actually. I lied. It went into a spiky pole and got maimed. <laughs> Look how many bo 24 boxes. Man. Um, That's how many boxes are on that level, apparently. I think we should go into like Tesco and be like, smash the boxes! Yeah, and be like, sure. what are you doing? I was like, I didn't want to miss any boxes. Oh. So retarded. Oh my god! <laughs> they should make Grand Theft Auto Crash Bandicoot. You should ride around on hogs all day. Ha <laughs> ha! But not the bikes. That's definitely not she said. But no, seriously, it'd be quite horrific. There'd be prostitutes and everything. <laughs> Why <Wah>, get through? <laughs> you mind the birds? Oh. <laughs> you got all that way! Oh man, this is freaking stupid. <laughs> okay, go. No, so you gotta be very careful. Wait for the fire to go. Go now. Damn fire! Go, go, go! No! Oh! <laughs> so far back. <laughs> this is like. Oh. I can't I see. see. Is that, oh, is that open? Oh. Don't talk to strangers, children. I'm Crash Bandicoot! From here, if you talk to strangers, rock balls roll at you! <laughs> yes, they do! <laughs> I'd be uncharted to be like this, this would be funny. Oh man, oh man, no. No. Holy oh, shit. Oh god. Holy crap! God. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! No! <laughs> 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 oh, that's just hilarious! You just got that last point. My, like, fing my, my fingers are getting so sweaty. <laughs> There's so much pressure on me. What is that? Jump. <laughs> it's like just when you think you've done enough. <laughs> what the hell was in front of the ball? So Rich, are we thinking a different game? Hell yes. Let's play a different game. Okay, right, so next game on the list we're playing Buck Bumble. It's an obscure game made by uh, a company called Argonaut. It's time to rock with the big and the bumble. Bumble now, it's time to rock with the big and the bumble. It's a big, 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 Bomb Bombman Hero when you actually walk around instead of like the old instead of the crappy bomb man. Oh, ah! Shoot that wall. <laughs> they even have noises when they crash. Like like a plane going down. Man, this, oh, is, this is clearly the best flight simulator I've ever seen. Look, see this rocket launcher right here? I can use it to destroy this bitch. Ah! Oh, Totally playing two player now. Two player. This is way too big as a controller. It's like a claw. <laughs> so basically, we have to shoot each other. Oh my god, there's a machine gun in this game as well. This is so incredibly awesome. Oh look, at, look, look what I'm shooting. Look, it's like me darts. Look at that. Ah! 
<laughs> Tell you what, the only way I could be flying worse than this if I was in a plane being driven by Al Qaeda. <laughs> or a blind person. Oh my god. Basically, today we've been previewing children's games with animals. Children's Actually. games with human like animals. Okay, so last game of the day is Kirby's Adventure for the Nez. Because we decided we'd do kids' games today, because it sort of happened by coincidence. Hell yeah. Is this, this, is this the original Kirby? Yeah. Man. So all the Kirby's after this are just, just pretending. So, yeah, so basically, the graphics are awesome for a Nez game. To be fair, any day I'd rather play something with these graphics than something with like HD sparkliness. Yeah, I'll be do this one. Go for it, man. I'm not really sure what the controls are. But uh, just basically... As there's like only five buttons. <laughs> right, that, that sucks and that blows. <laughs> I think this is one of the last... Not, no, I don't think it was the very, very, very last, but it's, it's definitely one of the last NES games to actually come out. Can I just fly forever? Uh, I think you think you can, yeah. I.e. skipping the whole level? I think so, yeah. What? Careful that guy, though. <laughs> you were actually skipping the entire well, thing. I've only got one life left. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Richard Outlook. I'm Rob. And we'll hopefully see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See ya. I'm just a pal. Cheers.